All right, guys. Today is the day. We are going to do this bathtub. First thing I'm going to do, though, is clean it out. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you want to use this Lysol Power Clean. Uh, that's what they recommend in the video <coughs> or their product. So, and all we're going to do is clean it out. <coughs> then we got to. Uh, let it dry, but I'm going to use my little <clears throat> California water blade to get most of the water down and then uh, let that dry. Then I'm going to take the drain out so we don't have to build up a dam around the bottom of it. So we'll uh, commence to clean it. And you just want to use a regular scrubby.
nothing too exciting there, guys. Let's see if I can squeeze back here without knocking the camera everywhere. And see if I got any more of that back here. Get a wiper act, but 
get around it. Oh. 
Okay. Or to put my bucket out. start this process as you know one drips all right so at this point now we just gotta leave the heat on um, I have to bring an extension cord in or go downstairs and get a hair dryer we can kind of speed this, speed this process along uh, but that way it's good and dry and any lint or anything gets blown off of it so I will be back here in a minute, guys. Okay, uh, what we need to do now is I've got the bags over top of the uh, fixtures. Uh, I know you really can't see it there, but uh, yeah, it's already collected uh, a little bit of water. So uh, if you guys are doing this, you might want to do that. I don't know, but I found a. Uh, uh, this stuff is apparently water cleanup, so I've got this pan here that I'm going to use underneath the drain and to catch all the excess. So uh, we'll use that first, and then if I need to take it out, I'm just going to use this plastic little tub real quick. Uh, that should hold up. You know, well, I can always get another one, but <clears throat> that, that'll catch the stuff, and as this fills up, then I can take it. And either pour it back into the can, uh, which is probably what I'll do, and uh, reuse it <clears throat> on these other areas. So, first thing we need to do, uh, now that we're letting the tub dry, brought the hair dryer up, you might want to get another clean towel, uh, and then, you know, kind of wipe it out again, you know, make sure you get all the dust bunnies and stuff out of it, and then hit it with the hair dryer, which I'll hit it with the hair dryer here in a minute. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to take some of this uh, paper, you know, that I use for you know, painting stuff, and uh, we're going to lay it on the floor around it. <clears throat> that way, when we pour this stuff over the edge, it'll drip right onto this stuff, which I'm really not too overly concerned about this floor. Uh, that is a project for another day. Uh, so, but it'll, you know speed cleanup. Uh, I mean, I'm going to replace the floor, but I don't plan on doing it like tomorrow, so. Now, the fun part is I'm getting this back behind this tub. As you can see, you can't stand back there. So, let me Spot. Go around the legs under here. Well, that ain't working out as well as I thought. Yeah. Let's get down here. Getting caught up with these claw feet. Yeah, that 
think that side looks good. Now, go ahead and rip that too. Yeah, that'll work. Now I just have to go around once we're done and <clears throat> make sure I did not drip this uh, stuff onto the feet. This back part here is going to be kind of a pain because this is where the water lines come in and drain. Perfect, but I'll do the trick. Your masking tape uh, sticks to itself. Some strong stuff. Yeah. This will work. I just need a tiny piece over here. You can bring my flashlight up. Not exactly super bright over here. I guess I could use the phone. Let's see here. Make sure. Let's see here. Ooh. There's got to be 85 degrees in here. I think I got it a little bit too hot, guys. Let's see here. Um, I think 
I need to get a piece here. Tape right. Oh, man. Stupid tape. And this, I mean, it's super sticky. Um, just getting it to pull off and not tear apart. Of course, I could probably heat this up with the uh, hair dryer or the heat gun. That's a little trick when your tape is kind of stuck together. But we'll get there. I'm in no hurry. We still got to get this can open. And there we go. Good straight piece there. According to the instructions, <coughs> You gotta stir it and you mix the, uh, I guess, hardener. I guess that's what that is. Piece of crap tape. Okay, uh, you mix the hardener in, you gotta stir for like 10 minutes. And you let it set for a minute or two. And don't you really just hate when your tape sticks to itself? Oh. Okay, so, see if I can see where I'm hitting this at. Get it down there. I don't want it on the tub. I mean, if it gets a little bit on the bottom of the, because I'm, I'm replacing eventually this whole fixture anyway. But, one step at a time. I just hope <clears throat> when I go to take this off, I guess if I do it relatively, uh, I mean, you're supposed to check this stuff every hour and touch up any spots, thin spots, so I can just keep an eye on it and make sure it's when I take this tape off, if I have to pour a little bit around it, well, then I'll pour a little bit around it. So, okay, let's get the hair dryer going. I'll do this piece here on the floor last when I'm getting ready to start pouring it. So. amazing how many specks of dirt and dust you see on stuff after you've already cleaned it. So, all right, uh, how are we going to do this here now? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this dry a little bit still. And I went ahead and took this towel and put it around these fixtures because, uh, like I said, this thing needs to be replaced and uh, it's impossible to get washers for it. I've, I've dorked with it quite a few times. And I can get the shut the hot water to shut off, but I still can't get the cold water to fully shut off. So it likes to run out of the faucets. So I just gotta use these other uh, 
valves to keep the water from running out. So I mean, everything is 20, eh, 22 years old, so it has uh, served its purpose well. Okay, so now what we need to do is stir this paint for, uh, like I said, 10 minutes. So here is the paint. And I don't think you guys really want to watch me stir paint for for 10 minutes, so let's see here. Let me spin it around here. There's the paint. So uh so I may just go ahead and uh stop this and come back 10 minutes later and we'll take it from there. We'll start pouring the crap. So but I'll, I'll dry it out again, make sure it's dry. I'll hit it with the hair dryer again, and then we'll, we'll I'll have the paint mixed up. Uh, I'll stir it up for 10 minutes, then I'll, you know, let it sit for, I think they said like five minutes, and then you come back and stir it for another two or three minutes. So I guess we'll follow their instructions, and then we'll, uh, we'll start pouring this stuff in, guys, and uh, <laughs> see how this turns out. Whether it's going to be a total cluster or if it's going to work like they show it does on YouTube uh, or this Echo, Echopel is the name of the company, which I will put a link uh, down in the description. It is the Echopel 2K-24 and this is the dark gray color. So I wanted to jazz up the bathtub a little bit guys instead of just doing all white. So now we're going to have a gray top, inside edge. Uh, edges and then the outside will uh, I'll just keep that white so all right I'll be back in a moment okay guys uh, I've been stirring this for 10 minutes and as you can see this says dark gray and huh, does that look like dark gray does that look like dark gray does that I don't think it's dark gray guys they have a light gray and a dark gray, uh, and I've already got the catalyst mixed in with this. And so, I don't know, maybe it'll darken up as I pour it. I don't know, but so now we have to wait another five minutes, uh, let this stuff sit uh, undisturbed for five minutes, and then we'll come back and stir it again for another two or three minutes, and uh, I'll blow it out again. And make sure, and I gotta put the rest of my paper down, and then we will be ready to uh, see what kind of mess we can make. So I will be back here in a moment. Okay, we are ready to stir for our additional two minutes. My phone, so I can time our two minutes. Definitely get a lot of air bubbles coming to the top, but I will say that uh, while I was waiting the five minutes for this stuff to set, um, this does not look like dark gray. And according to the uh, literature I got it on Amazon. Um, it was supposed to come with the roller, which it, it does have the roller, right here, roller right here. Uh, but it says it comes with everything you need. Well, there is no stir sticks, you know, and there it said uh, it comes with roller covers and I guess some little uh, scooper boxes to scoop up the excess so you can re-pour it. Well, I don't have those either, so... I don't know, maybe, maybe this stuff will get darker. Uh, I will include a picture of the ad on Amazon to show the different colors, and this definitely looks more like a light gray to me, and not dark gray. But like I said, I've never used this product before, and maybe as it hardens, it'll get darker. Uh, I mean, I know your house you know, wall paint will tend to look a little different in the can, then it does once you put it on the walls, so I'm hoping that is the case. And if it ain't the case, I'm going to get kind of honked because I was wanting dark gray. 
because I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the side walls. Um, they're a, a gray, they got some dark gray in them, they got a little bit of light blue. So I thought the dark gray would really contrast good with the walls. I'm no HGTV expert, but I thought it would look good on the tub too with the dark gray top, you know, inside and then the white on the outside. But we'll see. So I'm going to just use some uh, plastic cups. And I'm hoping, yeah, they should work for the purpose. Uh, they show denting the can on the videos and then pouring it along the edge, which, yeah, I mean, I guess I can do that, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this uh, paint can inside the bathtub uh, or just set it along the edge here once I put my other piece of paper down and pour it into these cuts for the top lip so I'm not having a ton of this stuff roll off the edges and then uh, then I can dent the can and pour it on the inside of the tub. I should have just got some of my plastic cups that I use out in the garage, the bigger ones when, I, when I'm painting cars and bikes and stuff like that. And just pour it into that. Okay, we are ready. And yeah, this stuff is really thick um, before you put the part B into it. And definitely scrape along the sides uh, and get that down because it's, it's pretty thick and pretty stuck on there good. So, okay. Make sure this thing has not got any dust in it. I don't see anything. I'm going to put that under, slide that under the drain. Okay, I'm going to get our other plastic cup ready. We'll just set that up here. Move anything metal out of my way, so being who I am, I don't knock things onto my head. I'm really good at that. Paper here. And I guess I didn't know that. And I'll move our paint <coughs> stuff over. Okay. We have our pail of paint. We have our spongy roller. I've done blowing it out. So I guess now is the moment of truth. I guess I could go ahead and get that can. Oh, and by the way, I do need to make a correction. This is not water cleanup. You have to use alcohol or acetone. So it's a dent the can. So we have dented the can. And uh, one thing I did not bring up was some Paper towels. So, uh, I really don't want to pause everything to go get some paper towels. But, yeah, I got the toilet paper holder over there. Worst case, I'll use that. Okay. Let's set this down inside the tub. We'll pour some into our cup. top part here is going to be tricky around this faucet. Uh, hopefully that's showing up in the video. And I'm just going to pour it down in here. Let it do its thing. I'm going to have to probably go get a chip brush to get, get it all up in there along those edges. Get it on my back it back it into this. So 
So I'm just pouring a little bit along the edges, let it run over the sides. And I can use that foam brush to help, help get the flow over there. And you want to leave your space where you're uh, working at so you're not leaning into it. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Uh, I can go ahead and take this lever. <coughs> uh, <coughs> push it, you just kind of push it around, you don't really roll it. Make sure you're getting all your spots. Yeah, I can use this roller, it'll, it'll do the trick. Well, kind of, sort of. Then I'll come back around here. Use it to kind of just roll it into place. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll have to, we'll do a comparison. Look at that picture online again. Oh, and you definitely don't want to be wearing nice clothes. Which, <laughs> if you see in my videos, I'm never wearing nice clothes. So, okay. So now we can, I'm going to start pouring all this stuff along the edges. Let it roll down. Then we'll start letting it go down towards the center. And roll it up. I'm globbing down the drain real bad. Yeah, I know I got my cup under there, my bowl. Stuff does flow out pretty good. I'm just rolling it back towards the back of the tub. That way I'm not having to uh, deal with a bunch of it rolling uh, into my pan rolled so quickly. Man, I hope this coats this bathtub. Then you just push it around. Now I'm pushing it around. See how it does. I got my other bucket under there. That's looking good over there. And 
just keep pushing it around. I think it'll be enough. Okay, you kind of take the excess, push it back up, let it roll down. Because this sponge is really, it's not to roll it on, it's just to move it around. And it's moving it around. Let's see here, get some of this up here. Well, it looks a thousand percent better than what it did before already, so. Which it's rolling down. Push it up in there. And I'll get my uh, pan out from underneath here in a minute. So far, so good, guys. It's looking pretty sharp. And then you got to take the uh, heat gun and uh, blow out air bubbles. Yeah, if you just use your sponge here to pick it up, <clears throat> kind of transfer it over there. That'll work. Well, it's nice not having to tape up the drain. Okay, so, all right. Well, now I'm ready to get it on this edge here. I'm just making sure it's got a good amount of coverage. I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll roll up under these edges of this tub. Okay, and we got plenty up on top here. It's hot here, guys. <clears throat> okay, let me come over here. Sorry if I'm in your way. Yeah, I'll make sure we get all this around this edge. Make sure that's flowing out good. Ooh, that's what for. Kind of go along this back edge here. Can't really see back there. Definitely can't stand back there. So when you're here in a situation like me, um, you just have to trust that it's getting back there. Oh crap, just got that on the wall. Let me give me a piece of tissue 
paper. That is where the uh, paper dowels come in handy. I'm thinking I'm going to be slick. And that wipes up pretty good. Yeah, can't even tell, is it? Alright. That, guys, is doing its thing. Now, we have the instruction card. So, it says pour all scoop material on a front rail, rub roller, blah, 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 did all that. Move material up the tub wall, roll outside tub skirt and any further missed areas, which we did that. Uh, level out and remove excess from bottom of tub. Use a heat gun or hair dryer to pop microfoam bolts. This prevents staining while oxidizing or while it oxidizes. Then you remove any tape. Wait an hour to remove your tape dam. <clears throat> and then hourly scoop off any excess material off the drain floor tape. Wait until the material stops moving into the drain area. Remove remaining tape after four to six hours. And then remove any wet Ecapel with alcohol or acetone. Wait 24 to 36 hours for use. All right, well. This is looking pretty good. Rub off some of these thick spots around this lip as it rolls out. Got to say, I like the way it's looking. Especially where this tub comes around. Make sure it's got a good coat on it. I don't care if it drains into that pan. stuff do its thing. I uh, guess I'll, I don't have a cover for this. So I'll just uh, set it on the lid. Ugh. Set it over the lid. Yeah, there's a couple spots like this. Good thing! Look. Ugh. Good thing I looked.
like that. Get rid of the other spots back here. I'll hit this edge, you just be on the safe side. I'm just hitting this edge on the, be on the safe side, I don't know if that picked me up. But there was a spot behind his uh, faucets back there. Okay. Well, let's see here. What do we want to do now? Uh, all right, I'm going to, I need my extension cord. So I'm just gonna hit it with the hair dryer. Um, and I've got my camcorder plugged into the extension cord. So let's see here. I guess I can let it sit for a minute. Hit that edge again. Yeah, it looks like I seen a few like little pan holes. One is top. Those are the air bubbles are referring to. All righty, I'll let this sit for a minute, guys. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, I don't know. I got my light here, and I'm seeing like specks. Lots and lots of specs. And I'm gonna run here. Been an hour yet, so should be good. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if these are air bubbles, but they look like tiny little black specks. And yeah, maybe, maybe I need to get the heat gun instead of that blow dryer. thicker stuff down towards the drain. Supposed to be self leveling, and it is, it's it's moving, but yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of gray specks in it. Maybe 
just uh maybe this is part of the process i'm not sure guys but we'll see yes i brought the acetone up because of course overhead of me is the rail and wouldn't you know it i hit one of the rings and guess where it went right into the bathtub Touching the stuff. And honestly, <clears throat> I don't expect this to turn out perfect because the only time they're perfect is when you buy them brand spanking new. instructions to a T. And maybe those are air bubbles. But I don't know, man. You can watch a million videos. They don't tell you the things like, oh yeah, you're gonna see a bunch of little specks in it. Which eh, I think I, I took pictures of this before I started. Yeah, honestly, anything would be an improvement over what it did look like, so I'm I'm not I'm not gonna complain too much. sit for a minute and then I want to hit it with the uh, hair dryer again. Uh, see if some of these holes maybe and really maybe that is all they are. Maybe they're just uh, um, air pockets popping. But I'm trying to get it so it's not looking like it's got any runs. thick you know like on the back side of this tub here now where my flashlight's aiming I really don't care if it's kind of thick there that was a bad spot in the tub to begin with and I got all the paint and stuff off there with the grinders so let me let me let me what do I need I need to get 
another extension cord. <clears throat> so I can run that hair dryer because I don't have an outlet close to this tub for obvious reasons. Another little FYI, when you're doing this and you're heating it with the uh, hair dryer, put the cord over your neck and don't be a dingleberry like me and hold on to it and then have your cord get in the uh, paint. So let's try this area back here. indeed pinholes and the heat is not doing anything to them so I don't know what is going on with that you see me scrub this toilet or sorry bathtub you see me do it 
I rinsed it really super good. But these pinholes keep forming. And it kind of looks like specks of dirt. But I know it's not dirt because they're not moving. A speck of dirt would move. So I am at a loss as to what that is. But hopefully, let's keep an eye on it and see if they keep reappearing. Driven like crazy though. I want to keep driven, and I will keep uh, moving, moving this stuff. And <clears throat> see if that solves the problem with the little pockets. I can see one right there. Starting to come back. There's another one right there. And they look like, I ain't kidding you, <clears throat> they look like tiny little pieces of like dirt, but they don't, they don't move. And I don't know if it's, this product is not taken to something. recommended to scrub this tub and I know you know it was clean I mean hell I sanded the whole damn thing anyway before I even started so yeah I don't know man I mean, like I said yeah at the end of the day <clears throat> looks a lot better what it did so I guess I can't complain about that let me see if I can get this tape off here looking this way. Spigots. 
some sticky tape, guys. Let me uh, grab me a Q-tip. <clears throat> Gets a little tiny on it. Gets a little tiny on it. Like I said, those need to be replaced too. I'll roll some of this back out here. Stuff on them as I see them. stop touching this stuff because it'll stop leveling. You know, I'm just wondering how much of a can't really tell how thick that layer is. That thing in the back of the tub here. Can't really tell. Spots everywhere, man. I'll just let the I'll just let the crap dry. Wrong freaking color anyway, but I'll be damned. I don't know if I want to do it again. And honestly, I don't know if I want to use this product. And I'm seeing these, they're everywhere. And they really do, they look like specks of dirt. And I know this damn thing was clean, clean, clean. I wiped it out, blew it out, wiped it out, blew it out. I'm seeing an air bubble right there. So, air dryer. this end. I can try pushing some more down. Let's see here. Let's see how. Oh yeah, that stuff's thick down here.
I mean, we're talking really thick, guys. I know you can't see down the tub here, but I'm pushing quite a bit of material towards the drain. And definitely not happy with these little black spots everywhere. See how that levels out. I feel like I'm wasting your guys' time doing this. One thing I couldn't see inside half the bathtub, but crap. All this stuff I keep seeing, you know, it's all. I mean, crap, maybe I'm being too picky, but uh, I mean, this stuff got great reviews. But who doesn't love the smell of acetone? I love the smell of it. I just don't want to be tracking it all over the hardwood floors.
don't see any more air bubbles. So I'm going to hit it with some more heat. Okay. Just knocking stuff down over here. tip before you turn your heat gun on or anything always blow it away from whatever you're blowing on that way you got lint or something and it doesn't blow right into your what's your project okay I don't see any more air bubble in there I don't see this side uh, ends up leveling out <clears throat> hopefully it does play the waiting game guys all right well I'm gonna let this sit it is how is it it is 220 I'm gonna give this stuff about a half an hour and come back and see how it is looking so be back here in a minute guys all right guys Here's the deal. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll have to look at this video once I'm done. You can see all those little specks. A bunch right along this edge here. They're kind of all over the place, honestly. I mean, it, it does flow out. It's flowing out great. A couple air bubbles down there. I see I got a pop. But... You can see on this back edge here, I'm trying to show the light, shine a light on these so you can actually see them. But there's like little specks, but it's not specks, it's not dirt. So it is where this product is apparently not sticking to this tub for whatever reason. Uh, that I don't know because I use the Lysol 
power stuff just like they got in the videos but I mean it looks good does it look perfect no no does it look a lot better than what it did yes I'm still extremely disappointed in this color because I mean really let's stand back here how does that look top versus the bottom the sides there ain't much of a color difference and like I said I did order dark gray and I got the heater on in here still keep it nice and toasty but if I flip this lid over you can see on there it says let me get my rag out of the way in my hand dark gray well guys that looks like anything but dark gray it's a uh, very not much darker than the white that's on the sides of the bathtub so kind of ticked about that <clears throat> I don't know man I watch these videos watch these videos watch these videos in this product and you can see like on that edge there all these little pinholes everywhere I mean, yeah, it looks better than what it did, so I, that I can't complain about, but uh, definitely not happy. So, anyway, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit longer and see what it does. But my guess is, is I'm going to take the heat gun to it, too. Uh, I see a few air bubbles down there I need to pop. So, I'll be back here in a minute. Alright, guys, well, it is... Uh, about four o'clock now so uh, can't screw with this stuff anymore you know it'll cause problems so I did reach out to Echo Pell and honestly <laughs> quite disappointed but as you can see let me get my light up here we got all these little pock marks I don't know how well they're going to show up on this camera but I'll bring out the uh, GoPro maybe it'll show up a little bit better but there are tiny little speck marks all in it so I did talk to them and I was chatting with them and you know like right there I don't know if that's going to show up I don't know. hopefully that'll focus in on that but you know I understand that if you have surface imperfections that this product's not going to fill it. See, like, I don't know if you can even see that one over there. Looking kind of right at it. Big old pock mark. Okay. Uh, and I'll give a good point. I'll show you a good one here. All right. Straight down. And maybe I can get it from a better angle. Right down there. There's a spot. Apparently, I miss have missed that. You know, we've got runs down the sides where it didn't flow out and you know I can see if you know that's a spot down there that I missed with sanding no big deal hey you know what that's my mistake you know I can live with that what I can't live with is the fact that this stuff is not coating like they claim it does you know I mean it does look good I mean um, it looks fine well <laughs> kind of fine but you know and like i said you know, i mean you can see i don't know if that's going to show up on the videos but i mean there's you can see runs in this product you know where it didn't flow out properly which you know doesn't look better than what it did yeah you know it does and i'm not i'm not saying it don't but you know you can definitely you know see all these little pock marks which you know their explanation was as well it's not going to fill. It's not going to fill holes. Yeah, great. Okay, like right in front here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick pick it up. Let me see here if I can get some light into this. There's a spot like right there along the edge. You know where the paint was uneven underneath it, and I and I knew that, so I didn't expect it to cover that. What I don't understand is what all these freaking pock marks are you know because the paint underneath this echopel was white you know and all these things look like little black specks of pepper 
like there was oil or, or something. And he, I mean, you've seen in the video, this thing was scrubbed with the Lysol cleaner all the way around the edges, got the edges really good. So, I don't know, guys. But their response was, oh, well, let me stand back here. I ordered dark gray. You seen on the can that it was labeled dark gray. Look at that color. Now, that doesn't look dark gray to me. That's the side of that bathtub is white. The top of that is off white. You know, I mean, they list a biscuit color, which is kind of a light gray, and then they list a light gray and a dark gray. And those colors, that's not dark gray. And her response was, oh, well, we'll give you a $10 refund for the tent. And it's like, lady, that's a lot of work, you know, getting his bathtub to this point, you know, to put this product on here. So, anyway, I'm going to go around the edges again, get all those drips off there before they harden. Um, and, I don't know, live with it, I guess. You know, not much else I can do at this point. I mean, I guess I could sand it, you know, and bondo it and, you know, get some, uh, you know, good epoxy or, uh, you know, something, get, bring a spray gun up here and spray it, but, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I just replaced the damn bathtub, so, but anyway, uh, I'll be back here in a little bit with an update. Well, howdy, folks. All right, it's the next day. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock, and this tub is dry. Of course, I'm not going to use it until tomorrow. I'll hook up the... Uh, Drain and stuff tomorrow. Give it another day. I'm keeping it about, yeah, it's about 75 degrees in here. So, what I wanted to kind of show was some of the runs we got. I don't know if this is going to pick it up on this camera. I'm going to also go do it on the GoPro, see if it has a little bit better picture quality. But some of the things I noticed is I don't know if you can see them down in there, but it's like specks. And it's down in the paint. So, I don't know. We got, you can see obvious runs down the edges. And then these pinholes that showed up. I don't know, like I said, if they're going to show up in this video. But, I don't know how wrap this up here in a minute but like i said i want to do some gopro footage and see if it'll highlight some of this stuff that i'm seeing that you guys may not be seeing on this camera so be right back howdy folks all right this is at the end of the uh, bathtub recoding process we using this echopel product which uh, i will put a link in the description um, would I recommend this to people? Eh, no, I wouldn't. Um, and the only reason I, there's a couple reasons why I say that. And, you know, I've done a few reviews on different products, you know, like our little fire pit grill, you know, does what it's supposed to do. Um, the little steam, uh, cleaner thing, Majiggy, that I did a review on. It does what it's supposed to do, you know, and, and even with that, you know, I stated in that video when I, the intended purpose that I got it for, you know, was to do, you know, try to remove some of this grime off these bikes. And, you know, it works fine. <clears throat> now, for the things that it's more intended to do, like carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, nah, I mean, it did it on the floor just fine. So, you know, but now this product, well, you've seen in the video where I thoroughly cleaned this thing. And if you watch any of their YouTube videos, that is the exact same cleaner that they're using. So, and not only did I do it once, I did it twice. And I did use the scrubby and went around it very thoroughly. Now, at the beginning of this video, uh, I have a video on my phone, a brief one where I was sanding the bottom of it. And the complaints that I have with this product, um, I'm looking at my little notes I got over here. And you can see in the video, I didn't know if it would show up on the uh, camcorder that I'm using here. And I did it on the GoPro, but it does show up on the camcorder. If you look closely, especially at the at the end of these video, this video right before I'm talking to you here, you rewind it, and I'm panning across the bottom of the bathtub. It looks like there is dirt, and it's in, it's in the paint. Now I don't know. They mentioned something about oxidizing in one of these videos. You know, if you don't get out the air bubbles, well, you guys see me take the hair dryer to it. You see me take a heat gun to it. 
um, and I didn't really notice any pop, you know, any, any, I think there was one, maybe <clears throat> one air bubble that I may have missed and it, it kind of left a little, uh, little mark. But my biggest complaint is all these pits. And if you're looking around the rim, some of them did fill, majority of them did not fill and they got little, like little black centers in them. And it was doing this as I was pouring the product. Uh, so if you go back and you kind of watch in the beginning, and I'm kind of going, uh, panning along the sides of it, you can see where these, these pits are forming. And they look like little blackheads. And so I'd smooth the product out, pit would reappear. Smooth the product out, pit would reappear. So I don't know what caused that, but when I got onto their chat, uh, because you've got, uh, what was it? An hour, two, two, th two to three hours, you know, and at a certain point you can't mess with this stuff anymore because then it won't flow out. Well, and if you're looking at that video, you can see around the rim uh, where the faucets are and down the sides, you can see obvious run marks. First glance, if you just walk in the bathtub and you glance at it, are you going to notice these run marks? No, you know. But if you're looking at it, um, no different than if you're you know, spraying a car, you know, you get the orange peel and stuff. Um, the way they talk in these videos is product flows out really smooth and here's here's a chipped off piece of it while well, I was in that little bucket I had out of the bathtub and pretty durable you know and this is ah, that's probably about an eighth of an inch thick I don't know what the coating level is on this I really have no way to measure that but it does seem pretty durable um, what I, I the positives I can say about this product is it very very low odor so you don't need a mask putting it on uh, it does flow out really well, um, and you know it's fairly easy. It is fairly easy to put on. Um, my biggest gripes are uh, number one, the color. So you know, and uh, let me say the bathtub is this white. You know, here's this piece right here. You know, yes, it does look a very, very, very light gray uh, as opposed to this white paper. But that's not what I ordered. I ordered dark gray. So, um, and if I'm looking at this little tape measure here, you know, like this, that's kind of a dark gray. And that's kind of what the picture depicts, you know, uh, on the product details on their website when you order it. So, <clears throat> really, uh, really just not too happy with that. Um, and then when I was chatting with the young lady, asking her about what these pits were, uh, she said they were air bubbles. Uh, it's like, nah, they're not air bubbles. I don't took heat gun to it, you know. And she's like, well, they're they're holes then. And it's like, well, no, they're not holes. You know, the the top of this tub had no holes in it. You know, actually, the tub had no holes in it at all. Period. And I explained to her. I was trying to explain to her what it was doing. And she's like, well, it won't it won't fill in holes. It's like, lady, you're not understanding me. I said, like, these aren't holes. Okay, these are pock marks that are forming. You know, so. She, uh, and in one of her statements, she said the stuff sticks like glue. And it's like, okay, well, if it sticks like glue, then it should stick to anything. So, and I did go around the bathtub, and I did point out there was one spot of the tub where I must have missed sanding. I don't remember missing that part, but, hey, you know what? If I miss something, that's on me. I get that, you know, right? And, like, around the top edge, if you're looking at that, the side that was, you know, closest to me when I'm working, you can see where there's areas where I didn't sand it down completely smooth. I get that. That's me. You know, I knew they were there and I didn't, I didn't plan on, you know, making them really smooth. I didn't want to go take the time and, you know, get some Bondo or, or whatever. Now the bottom of the bathtub, I did work on really well. You know, I sanded it really good because I didn't want any chips, cracks, ledges, uh, anything like that. I wanted it to be smooth. So when this product flowed out, it covered all that stuff, which it did. However, now when you look at the bottom of that bathtub, you'll see areas where it looks like, um, Kind of like a stream or a swirl or, or whatever. And it's got little black specks in it. You know, I have no idea what that is. You know, the paint, unless it was something in the paint, some pigment, part of the pigment of the paint. I have no idea. But anyway, <clears throat> so when I was talking to this young lady, she offered to give me a $10 refund on the color. Well, you know, I pointed out to her, it's like, lady, you go to Lowe's. You buy a $40, $50 gallon of paint, you bring it home, you know, and you ask for dark gray, 
you go through all the trouble to prep your walls and paint your wall and, only, and find out that it, <clears throat> it looks like this, you're going to be pretty honking ticked off. And you're going to take that candle and the paint back to Lowe's and get your money back. Well, she claimed that they were a small business and they are not like Lowe's and do not offer any guarantees, warranties, and the only refund they'll issue is the $10 for the color. Well, I am a small business owner too. Okay, and if I sell a bag of coffee and it tastes like crap, granted, I know it's a $15 bag of coffee, it could be a $30 bag of coffee. You know, customer ain't satisfied with it. It's like, here, but here, buddy, here, here's your money back. Okay, very poor customer service. So, you know, to wrap this up, would I recommend this product? No. Does it look okay? Yes, it looks okay. All right. Uh, if you can get past all the little pock marks, you know, and if you're doing something for yourself, you're always going to be more critical of things. I get all that, but you know, that is, uh, that's to me, it's just, it's not acceptable. And I, I, I couldn't even get an acceptable answer. I mean, if it was something with the underlayment, which you guys seen in the video, because you see me cleaning and everything before I even poured this stuff on there, the, the bathtub was white, you know, uh, and in some areas kind of an off white color, but no part of that bathtub was black. So I don't know what the heck the black stuff is. Anyway, um, I won't keep rambling on about that. What's done is done. It does look a lot better than what it did. And I am happy with that. So as for the durability of it, well, that's to be seen. You know, I don't know. I mean, if it starts chipping up here a month from now, then I will definitely post an update to this video and let you all know. But as it stands with their customer service the way it is, and, you know, when you go to embark on a project like this, you know, and the amount of time it takes to, to sand it, you know, and, and scrub it and to clean it, you know, all the prep work, everything you got to get out, you know, all this stuff, you would have been pretty disappointed too. So, um, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this. I, like I said, I will put a link to this product in the description. And I mean, if you want to get it, I mean, for a quick fix kind of thing, yeah, that may be fine. You know, if you got a rental unit, you know, uh, a rental place or whatever, and you know, you don't want to spend a, you know, a couple thousand dollars to have a tub refinished, yeah, this is a, a cheap alternative to something like that. But if you're doing this for your own house, you know, and you want it to look really super nice, I would not get this product. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If uh, you like this, please give me a like. And I will talk to you soon on the next project, which is the espresso machine I'm working on right now. So I'm just waiting on some parts for that thing. And then uh, we'll see how that comes along. And my bikes. I've been lacking time here. I got the Suzuki over here. I'm going to get or try to put the carb on it. But anyway, you guys have a good one and thanks for watching.